what I need is a really quick way to copy this image and to make it into my site outline like this one here so watch this movie give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified let's get into it I'm going to show you how to quickly make these shapes and color them exactly the same as my imported image in this movie I've imported an image of my concept this is just a image you can see it's there so I need to turn this into Vectorworks objects so I need a really quick way of turning this into shapes that I can use because shapes are a really productive way of drawing in Vectorworks for example if I want to draw a rectangle it takes about eight clicks for me to get it and it takes a lot of time to draw the same shape using a shape like a rectangle takes two clicks and it is really really quick you can save so much time with this so I'm going to start by drawing this area here this is my landscape area and I need to convert this into a color that I can use again I'm going to trace over this area here and now you can see I've just zoomed in to do that and I've also got a shape to put in here I need to start at this corner of the building come down to here and I want to make sure these are all joining together shapes are so quick and they're so much easier to use so I can put that in there now I need that to be 0.8 wide and that's going to make it so much quicker if I just type in the size this is 0.8 there and I can create the size I need just use the Z key to zoom in so I just need to make sure I'm lining up so I just hold my cursor there until I get the little red square then I can come up touch that point I know this needs to be 0.8 wide so I can type in 0.8 and then I can hit the Z key to zoom in and place my path there and then come along here again minus 0.8 for that width there Z key zoom in there and minus 0.8 in that direction and the Z key so I can zoom in place that one this one here I want to line up with that so I'm going to actually touch that point come down here Z key get to that point there this is going to start here Z key and I just use all these snaps to zoom in makes it so much more effective there touch the bottom of my wall make sure I get that red square come across and that creates that now I need to make sure I'm lined up at that point there so again I touch it get my guideline click there and hold down the B key so I can hide that and create that square now I'm not going to do all of them but I'm just going to do enough so you can see how I'm going to get on now this particular one is a single object and it crosses this one so I need this to turn into three different objects so I select those two right click clip surface and it's a great really quick way of turning that into separate objects these ones right click add surface joins all of those into one object this one here add surface it'll join those into one this area here will add that together first add surface and then subtract this part away so clip surface so it's a really quick way of creating these shapes now the other thing I need to have is I need to have my colors so let's just have a look here I think I've got the colors already imported but let me show you how I did it I'm going to color these areas in a, a, a green that matches this so I'm going to select those areas that one that one and that one I'm going to choose a custom color custom use my eyedropper click on this area here and then apply and so it applies those colors for me it's a really quick way to do it this area this area and that area all want to be the same gray color I've got the gray here so let's try this we're going to use the custom color again custom get your eyedropper click on that one there apply and it applies my gray fill to those now if there are other colors that we might need I'm going to hide this temporarily and give this no fill because there's a color under here I need that one there so this color here needs to be custom again that one click on that area and apply and then I did taint the color off this one so I put the color back on and don't forget you can also use the eyedropper tool here you can copy the attributes of one paste it on another and that's a really quick way to do it so that's a really quick way to get those underway so there's just one thing I need to do I need to fill up this edge here to make it my curved landscape area and so you can see how quick it is to create all of these colors to copy the colors from other areas and to put them on here